Hey guys, today on Average Reviews from an Average Guy, we're going to be looking at the iRig Acoustic Stage. Alright guys and welcome to another Average Review. So today we're looking at the iRig Acoustic Stage, which is a digital microphone system for your acoustic instruments. So this thing is set up to try and solve that age old problem of miking up a live acoustic instrument. In the past we've used these piezo pickups which can sound a bit quacky and if we try and mic up on stage we have feedback issues and stuff like that and this is stepping in to try and fill that gap in between. So if we have a quick look we've got a clip on microphone that sits in the sound hole of our instrument that connects to this device here. Now this device comes with a tone button so you can do a little bit of tone shaping with this it has a anti-feedback for those horrible situations where that feedback arrives we have a phage phase switch excuse me on the side uh, to again to try and tackle any of those phasing or feedback problems we have our volume we have a mix signal for if we want to do a mix of the piezo signal and the mic signal and we have our input for the mic, output, and an input for the piezo pickup. Quite a simple device. Uh, so I think let's talk, more we'll play, and let you guys hear what this thing does. You go. Now there are a few more presets than I demonstrated there and these are accessible by hitting the tone button here. You can see we have three options along here and that is for your natural, the one that I used in the demonstration, the warm and bright. But if you carry on clicking we have another little light come up here for nylon strung instruments and then the same three options optimized for nylon, 
natural and warm and bright. Now you can also calibrate this to your own instrument by holding down the tone button and strumming through each fret all the way up the fretboard. And this will give you the optimal uh, tone balancing for your specific guitar. Now this thing also has the cancel feedback, which I've had mixed results with, and it's those medium style uh, sort of sized stages where you're not that far away from your amp, but you need to be a bit louder, where I'm sort of coming across this problem of trying to balance the feedback. It manages to cut out a few of those signals, uh, and if you're careful about it, you can pretty much overcome that using the feedback and the phase. I do like that the microphone just clips onto your guitar. There's no uh, screw in, no glue in, no sticky tape, nothing like that. It just clips into your sound hole and you're ready to go. The wire that comes on the microphone is a little bit flimsy though. And I'm very, very conscious that this could get caught on something and just rip out. So I'm very scared about that, uh, which is a shame. The rest of it seems to be built really really well and this tiny little wire just lets it down in my opinion uh, I do like that we have a clip here for going onto either your belt or your guitar strap so it's just nice and secure and out of the way I love that you can mix in a piezo signal as well as the mic to give it an extra bit of bite in a live scenario if you've got a band you can just cut through the mix a little bit easier and finally, we have a USB out. So this is for your home recording stuff. You can use this as a mic for recording as well. And that USB will plug direct into your computer or whatever you use uh, so you can record. Hmm. Pros and cons. Pros. It's small. And it comes with a lovely little case for transporting so it's not a huge inconvenience to bring with you the microphone itself clips on and off very easily and is interchangeable between any instrument with a sound hole the sound and the uh, tone selection on it are quite nice and you can flip through them and even calibrating your own guitar is really easy to do. The cancel feedback is a nice addition that can work in certain scenarios. The ability to plug it directly into your door and record using this as a microphone is a nice touch. I don't think it's a better microphone than a lot of them out there on the market, but it, it does sort of stand up to the lower end mics if you're just doing some home recording for fun. I like that we have this ability to mix our signals between the mic and the piezo and gives you that cut through in the mix when you're playing live. And it's not an expensive bit of kit. It probably sits about the same price as a piezo pickup would anyway. So it really is an inexpensive option to explore. Cons. As I said, this cancel feedback button only seems to work if you're far away from your amplification or if you're in a smaller venue when you don't need to be too loud. It starts cutting the signals for you and then a new signal will come up and that has caused me problems in the past. I've had to do quite a bit of jigging around on stage. This wire is flimsy, 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 and I would not be surprised if at some point in my life this breaks. I am absolutely petrified of this thing breaking live. I think that the design of it as well makes it a little bit floppy and a little bit awkward on stage. So I use more than one guitar, for example, in a set, and I would not be able to change these out quickly enough for it to be feasible to use this on every single guitar. Saying that, I can't find that much else 
that annoys me about this thing. It's compact, it's convenient, it clips on nicely, it sounds pretty good, and it works the way they say it will work. So, if you're looking for a cheaper way of getting more of a might sound in a live scenario, I think this is worth a punt. I think you should go out, you should spend not very much money and give it a go. Okay, so that was the iRig Acoustic Stage. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I've got a link in the description for you as well. Have you any alternatives to this product? I know there are some out there that any you use and that I need to know about. Hit me up, guys. Hit me up. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I've been Simon from Tomorrowbird, just an average guy, giving you an average review. Till next time.